Today I'm gonna to make a video not just for my subscribers, but for your friends, your family, your husband or your wife, or whoever it is who thinks that you getting a Doberman is a horrible idea because after all, they are a vicious breed. The Doberman has traditionally been portrayed in media and elsewhere as just a vicious guard dog. But in reality, the modern Doberman is a loving, caring, gentle, and highly devoted dog to their families. So today, I'm making my case as to why the Doberman is a gentle giant who is a wonderful addition to just about any family environment. Almost every Hollywood film that you see that features a Doberman almost always has them featured as just a vicious, terrible guard dog. And Hollywood has a big influence on our popular culture, so it makes sense that so many people hold on tightly to this misconception that Dobermans are vicious dogs. So you know what, let's just skip over all the theory and the feelings about these dogs, and let's jump straight to the cold, hard facts, the statistics. So here's a graph of dog bite related fatalities in a 13 year time span in the United States between 2005 in 2017. I mean, look how far down this graph the Doberman is. Statistically, if you want to be worried about a dog, you better be a whole lot more worried about a Labrador Retriever than you should a Doberman Pinscher. I mean, this graph might come as a surprise to some people, but to us Doberman owners, it's really no surprise at all. So let's look a little bit deeper into these numbers so you can get some specifics. Now remember that these dog bite statistics come from the entire United States over a 13 year period. That's a country of 320 million people. And of that 320 million people over that entire 13 year period, um, only six Doberman deaths have been attributed. So that uh, look, there's that vicious Labrador retriever again with over 50% more deaths than the Doberman. Um, I mean, that is less than one death per year. Actually, that's less than one death every other year as a result of the Doberman Pinscher. And did you know 51 people die every single year from lightning strikes in the United States? That means that you are far well beyond 50 times more likely to get struck and killed by lightning in the United States than you are to die from a Doberman Pinscher attack. That's pretty good odds. You know, you almost never hear about these dogs attacking and killing anyone anymore. And why? It's because they're just not vicious dogs. The second point I want to make is how this breed came to be. Now this breed was started by Louis Doberman. He was also a dog catcher in a small town in Germany in the late 1800s when he created this breed. Now Louis set out to make this breed uh, fearless and alert um, and also incredibly in tune with their masters and uh, willing to lay their life on the line to keep their masters safe. So it's, it's literally hardwired in their genetics to keep their owners and their families safe. Now that's why a lot of times these dogs, you'll see them when they sleep next to you, they'll always be facing the entrance to the room. Um, that's a protective instinct. Uh, if you're sad or upset, they're incredibly in tune and they'll notice that and they'll come over to you and be next to you. Uh, if you are in an unusual environment with strangers around or a chaotic situation, the dog will stick right by your side. And these are the actions of a dog that is incredibly protective and just wants to keep their family safe. So thank you, Louis Doberman. Let's also just look at the actions of these dogs. They love being right with their family or not even just with, but on top of their family. They're huge cuddlers, these dogs. Uh, they'll climb right up in your lap and they just want as much love and attention as they can possibly get from their pack and all members in their pack, which means obviously their family. And uh, here are a few examples to show you what I mean.
These are dogs that love their owners and just want to continue loving their owners no matter what. And no, they're not just going to snap and randomly turn on you. Um, I, that is a myth that was started many generations back. It's been debunked a whole bunch of times. And uh, I, if that was the case, if these dogs randomly just snap and turn their owners, number one, I would tell you, I promise, I would have noticed, I've worked with a lot of Dobermans now, and I would have noticed that that was the case. But two, that would just reflect in the statistics of the breed. And uh, it just isn't there. So I promise you, it's not a trait of these dogs. It's not a common thing. That's strictly a myth. And honestly, Lewis Doberman was trying to create a dog that was highly trainable and very predictable and rock steady in their temperament. And honestly, he succeeded. Now, some of you have told me that ever since you were a young kid and you had a bad experience with the Doberman, you've been intimidated and frightened of the breed ever since. And although I will absolutely concede that, you know, past experiences are hard to shed, especially when you're making decisions later on in life as an adult, but there are a few points I want to make about that. Uh, number one is I promise you that someone else's Doberman acts far differently with you than they do with their own family. Dobermans are naturally bred to be suspicious of strangers. They're personal protection dogs, right? That's how they're created. And hopefully it's been evident from the clips in this video that they act a whole lot differently with their own family than they do with strangers. And the second point I want to make is a lot of people are intimidated by them because Dobermans will look you directly in the eyes when they're talking or when you're talking to them or, or just when you're in the room. This is a trait of the breed. I told you they're super in tune with human emotions and they're always trying to figure you out and they're doing that by looking you right in the eyes. And honestly, yes, looking you in the eyes in the dog world in general can be a dominance thing, but in the Doberman world, I promise you that more often than not, it's just them trying to figure you out and it's part of their intelligence and part of how in tune they are with humans. Thank you for Lewis Doberman. That was one trait he bred into them as well. Um, now, the third point I want to make is that recent generation of Dobermans, especially in the United States, have been bred um, over time to meet demand. And the demand for Dobermans, far and away greater than any other demand, has been for a family companion. So each generation, especially with the United States Dobermans, American Doberman Pinchers, has gotten just more family oriented than the previous generation. And they still retain a lot of their protection instincts. So really, the modern day Doberman is an amazing family companion who's also protective and loyal and will lay their life on the line for you. I really hope that those who are afraid to get this breed just because of the stigma, the rumors they've heard will see this video. And maybe you guys could even help me to break this stigma. Down below this video, there's a share button. If you click that button, you can share this video through different social media outlets. You can share it through email. Share this video, send it out to people who might be afraid of this breed so that they know the truth and the reality of it or just send it out in general because we need to break this stigma about this breed. And guys, while you're down there clicking buttons, there's a subscribe button. If you click that and the little bell icon that comes up next to it, you'll get notified on my next video. Hit that thumbs up button while you're down there clicking away and I'll see you next time.